Keandra and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be another um, show series review. Um, and this is going to be the review off of the first episode of Euphoria. And I think it's a, is it on HBO? I think. I watched it on Hulu, but I think it's on HBO. So if you want to hear my opinion on the first episode, then stay tuned. Alright guys, so uh, I saw like... I'm going to be completely honest. I'm only watching it because Zendaya is on it. Like, I saw her advertising for it. And I think I saw Drake, um, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw Drake advertising for it as well or whatever. But, like I said, I'm only watching it because I love Zendaya and Black Girl Magic and all that. So, great. So, um, basically, from what I got from the first episode was that it's about um, Zendaya. Her, her character name is Rue. And she is on drugs and like she went to rehab and she came back but like she's only like 17 like she's like in high school and uh she went to um god I can't even talk she went to rehab because she almost OD'd her sister who's played by that girl from A Wrinkle in Time she found her like almost like dead so she went to rehab but then like she got out of rehab but she still went trying to be clean like she went right back to drugs like literally like the next day so that's basically it like she's like uh i think she suffered from like a whole bunch of like disorders and um she i guess uses drugs to deal with them or whatever uh so yeah Personally, if Zendaya wasn't in the show, on the show, I probably wouldn't watch it. Um, it just seems like a, like a high school show, kind of like a, like a Degrassi. Like, you know, I know these are like real issues that people deal with and all of that. But I feel like when I was in high school and I was 16, 17, like we wasn't really doing drugs like that. Like we, and I'm 26, but like we was like... If anything, we were just getting drunk. I remember drinking underage. Sorry, Daddy, if you're watching this. But I remember that much. But I don't remember anyone around me or in my circle. Keep in mind, I, I was in, like, I was black. And I had, like, my black friends. And I was in the AP classes. And I had my white friends. And I was a cheerleader. So I was around the rich white kids. And I was around the black kids. And I don't remember nobody doing no hardcore drugs like how Zendaya was doing on this show. Um... But yeah, we would drink and get liquor every once in a while. But that was about it. Like, and so for them to be doing like hardcore drugs, like how she was doing, and then she almost died and OD and stuff. Like that was just unfamiliar to me. Um, I don't know anyone personally who be doing hardcore drugs like cocaine and popping pills and stuff. And if they do, they don't do it around me. The most I've ever seen any of my friends do is weed, and I think everybody smokes weed except for me. But that's the most I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, so I kind I kind of wanted to call my sister. My sister is around that age. She's sixteen, seventeen. And I ask her if people are um doing drugs like that, cause that could just be the thing now. I just know I didn't grow up doing it, so that was unfamiliar to me. Like I wouldn't even know where to get that at that age. Um, but then again, my sister be going to baby showers, so they might be doing it. But yeah, uh, but it seemed like real, like high school ish. Like, like, like I said, like, like I said, like Degrassi and I didn't, like, I just, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to say, oh, I don't like it. It's only been one episode, but you know, like how some shows, like the best writing of all time that I've seen, like on the first episode of a show and it made me want to like keep watching is like, this is us. And I think that is great writing and that storyline is totally different from this one. But I feel like when it's just like. If it's not engaging for me or not relatable, it doesn't make me feel sympathetic, then I don't care. Like, I hate when I watch a show and the main character already get on my nerves. And that's what Zendaya, like, her character was getting on my nerves. It was like, you know, you have a loving family and, like, yeah, you're going through all this shit, but you choose to do drugs. And you go to rehab and you get out. The first thing you want to do is go back to doing drugs. And it was just like annoying me. Like, bitch, why are you doing fucking drugs? So, I mean, I understand people have habits and they're, and, and they're addicts and all this other stuff. But I don't know what I thought Euphoria was going to be about. I forgot what the definition of that was because I looked it up so I could tell y'all. Um, I think it's like a state of being... Um, 
it's, it's like it's something that has to do with your like emotions or whatever and um like i said she has like a lot of disorders like she's like bipolar she has anxiety she has panic attacks and then she like dies for like two seconds and it comes back to life like that's part of her disorder or something i don't know maybe i should have did more research on it because i was kind of lost like everybody was like oh i loved it i loved it and i was just lost i don't know um but that's pretty much it like this is not a really a long review do I recommend y'all watch it? Yeah, because Zendaya need her coins. And Algie Smith, he, I think that little boy is so fine. He, he's probably the only short guy I would, like, really, like... I mean, it's a lot of short guys I've dated. But, like, he, like, that, like... He's, like, the finest of the short men committee. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's on there. And then Zendaya and then the little girl from A Wrinkle in Time. Other than that, I don't really know nobody else on the show. So, if you just love Zendaya like I do, I recommend watching it. But it was just hard, kind of hard for me to relate to because I'm not in high school. I'm not on drugs. And, uh, I don't know. She's kind of annoying the first episode because she's like, she just keeps putting herself in positions to, like, OD again. And then, especially since, like, when she od like, her sister found her, like, her younger sister. And so it's like, why would you put your family through that again? Like, if you really care about your family and your sister, like, why would you keep doing drugs and put them through that? But she ain't care. So, yeah, it was just kind of annoying to me. But, yeah. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all watched it, which I think about it below. I think they had a great music choice. It was, like, a lot of people, a lot of songs that I recognized um, as far as the soundtrack goes. But as far as the storyline, like, I'm kind of just waiting on it to, like, pick up because I was kind of bored yep and yeah, if you guys um have seen this episode or want to go watch it or have any questions y'all let me know down below let's talk about it engage with me make sure you like comment and subscribe until next time bye guys